Well, hi there, guys. So today I am going to be unboxing and connecting up one of the models in the relatively new Juniper ACX 5000 series of devices. So that will be fun. Just a word of warning though, uh, I will be doing this in a production co-location facility so there will be a lot of background noise so it might be difficult to hear me over all those fans but uh, well you'll just have to live with that won't you? Well, it certainly is a little bit louder in here than it was out there. So, let's head down to the end room and have a look at some of this exciting equipment that has been delivered to me, courtesy of Juniper Networks. Aha, my trolley of fun. Well, here we have some fine looking Juniper flight cases. Very, very nice quality shipping vessels, those. So these are some very nice flight cases that Juniper send out their demo kit in. They're, uh, they're very sturdy, I'm, I'm very impressed. Very nice cases. Projack. Pro Jack. You know which other Jack was pro? Jack Bauer. Jack Bauer was very pro. Very good work, Jack Bauer. very nice flight cases. On the side we have a uh, simple turn and lift up mechanism. Very nice, very secure, very easy to use. lovely piece of kit we have here. So uh, this is the ACX 5048. So on the front we have 48 10 gigabit per second SFP plus ports and 6 40 gigabit per second QSFP plus ports. Very, very nice indeed. On the rear we have a number of uh, hot swappable fans and a couple of hot swappable power supplies. Very nice. What I like most about these flight cases is the smell of wood. Anyway, so I've now got my two uh, 5048s out of their uh, shipping flight cases. So without further ado, I will take them out and wrap them up.
So this lab environment consists of four MX104s in a small ring connected by a 10 gig. I will be adding these two ATX 5048s initially uh, as a spur coming off two of those MX104s and subsequently I'll probably put it in line uh, in the ring and see how that works out. Okay, let's fire up Minicom so that we can uh, go onto that serial port and see what's going on. Right, time to turn the bad boy on. Alright, let's see what we've got here. So, there's a grub bootloader. Very Linux looking. We've seen this quite a bit on a few Juniper models recently. I'm expecting this to be uh, some sort of uh, cut down Linux that runs a virtualization layer of some sort. There we go, that's uh, CentOS by the looks of it. Some sort of a leaned down CentOS. And some virtualization components there. Okay, and that has booted a FreeBSD VM. So, uh, we have seen quite a lot of this from Juniper recently. Uh, we've seen an x86 control plane running Linux, CentOS in this particular case, with some virtualization components. We then see KenU used to fire up a container containing FreeBSD, Junos, that provides the interactive experience. So I'll go and get these ACX 5048s plugged in to the MX 104s, uh, get ISIS and RSVPTE set up on them to get them back in, uh, configure up some BGP for service signalling, then I'll set up some uh, VRF, IPVPN kind of services for a test, I'll set up some uh, LTVPN, VPWS type services for some other testing, um, and then finish off with some VPLS type services. Yeah, that's predominantly what these Metro Edge devices are meant for. So that should be fun. <laughs> 